thank you for the introduction and uh, thank you everyone for joining us for the webinar. Today we are going to talk about uh, MSG mouse and uh, its application in research, especially on how to use this mice to uh, construct a humanized model by PBMC or CD34 uh, cells. And uh, in order for us to uh, fully understand and appreciate what MS NSG mouse, and uh, we've got to have a basic understanding uh, of the immune system. The immune system can be broken up into two different uh, components, the innate immunity as well as uh, adaptive immunity. So innate uh, immu uh, immunity is the first line of defense against the passenger and the foreign invaders and uh, it uh, contains uh, various uh, components, including the complement system, which is involved in the opsonization, pathogenic bacteria and the uh, cells bound by uh, antibodies. So here, uh, macrophage, which engulf uh, dead and dying cells, and uh, uh, granulocytes that uh, uh, part uh, participate in the allergic and the inflammatory responses. And uh, finally, uh, natural killer, uh, killer cells or NK cells have the uh, direct ability to kill uh, infected or cancer cells. And uh, the adaptive uh, branch of uh, immunity include uh, B cells. Uh, this is uh, uh, like a responsible for produce antibodies. And uh, T cells, we know uh, T cells can uh, divide into uh, CD4 positive T help cells which help uh, B cell to make antibodies and the uh, T cytotoxic T cell, which is uh, marked by the CD8 and uh, have the ability to directly kill infected cells or cancer cells. Finally, uh, the dendritic cells uh, have, that help uh, to uh, help the uh, primary antigen present uh, cells to the immune system and uh, help uh, bridge the the innate immunity with the adaptive immunity. Also, the cytokine uh, and cytokine provide a bridge between the innate and the adaptive immunity because they are uh, response to and uh, released by all cell types in the immune system. And uh, here uh, is some common used uh, immune deficient mouse model, include the uh, new uh, like one and the REC2 uh, knockout mice, as well as SCIDA mutants. And uh, finally, is the uh, not SCIDA uh, I2 uh, receptor gamma chain knockout, or called uh, uh, NSG mice. This is the mice we are focused uh, uh, today. And the uh, um, NSG mice, the SCIDA uh, I2 receptor gamma chain genes were both knockout in the NOD. And background mice. So this mice uh, is, is extremely uh, immune deficient. So it's this, this mouse lacking mature the T cell, B cell, and the NK cell. So from this figure, we can see compared to the previous uh, immune system, most uh, uh, important uh, uh, immune system compounds like B cell, T cell, antibody, the uh, complement system, and uh, even NK cell were all affected by this. Uh, uh, gene division and uh, also the macrophage is somehow affected. So uh, MSG is a uh, CVS uh, immunocompromised uh, mice, so they always uh, uh, will cause low immune uh, rejection against the human cell and the tissues. So this is a, a useful model for xenograft tumor research and uh, this mouse, mouse has good uh, tumor genesis. So that, uh, that means a small number of uh, tumor cells can form uh, the tumor tissue. And uh, so this mouse model can significantly improve the survival of transplanted human cells and the tissues. Also, this model is uh, uh, suitable for the transplantation of human hematic stem cells and uh, uh, the pre preparation for the humanized mouse model. And uh, compared to the uh, white type mice, we can see the flow, uh, flow cytometric data showed a dramatic reduction of CD3 uh, T cells 
and the uh, CD19 B cells. And uh, even compared to the uh, NOD uh, skin mice, the NK cell uh, component, because here we use the flow cytometry to mark the uh, uh, CD3 uh, negative, however, CD335 uh, positive cells, you can see compared to the skid, mi skid mice, the MNSG mice, the uh, NK part is totally uh, removed. So this uh, part of uh, data is confirmed by the uh, mouse spleen, uh, spleen samples. And uh, so this bar chart also uh, showed significant reduce of NK cells in spleen tissue compared to the, uh, especially the skin mice or the, um, the barbecue mice. And uh, this, this cell from, uh, these are uh, another part of data like uh, the cells from blood were uh, compared by uh, by flow cytometry, so the NS, NSG and the skid mice show a significant reduce of T cells and the B cells, and uh, similarly compared to the uh, skid mouse, the, the NK cell is completely deficient in NSG mouse. So altogether, um, based on the um, Characterize of the NSG mice, this mouse could uh, help bridge the gap uh, bet uh, between clinical research and the clinical trial, especially for those uh, disease model include cancer, infection, disease, and the transplantation, from oncology or toxicology. So another part, uh, like um, uh, I want to compare the, is about the tumor genesity. So we use the uh, the common use the uh, immune deficient mice like a nude, not uh, skid mice and uh, the NSG mice. So we can see we use the A5, A5, uh, A549 and the larger cells as our uh, tumor cells. And then we can see compared to the other uh, immune, immune deficient mice like nude and the skid, NSG mice has much better tumor growth in both these in both these uh, cell lines. So, so all these uh, figures tell us like um, M our MNSG mice can help uh, bridge the gap between clinical, uh, preclinical research and the clinical trials. So this model could, um, could be uh, useful for the, for all the kind of disease model like include the uh, cancer disease, infectious disease, Transplantation research and uh, those uh, pharmacology or toxicology, uh, toxicology research. So another part uh, I would like to introduce today is about uh, how how can we use uh, this uh, MSG mice to develop a humanized uh, mouse model. So there are two major uh, humanized mouse model we are providing. One is uh, like a humanized PBM. PBMC mouse model, and another uh, part is uh, we use uh, humanized uh, hematopoietic stem cell or CD34 positive, uh, like a mouse model. So this uh, this uh, depends on the different resource of like uh, human cells. So first, uh, the, about the PBMC humanized uh, MNSG mice. So these mice uh, will re rebuild mainly on the human immune cells. Uh, T cell, so it's useful uh, used as a model for T cell function studies, and uh, some of uh, our clients use this model to test the CAR T efficacy to tumors. So T cells, uh, T cell also over immunize the, the reception uh, reception of mice, and then trigger uh, this will trigger graft versus host disease or GVHD. So this. Uh, so because of this issue, the mice uh, will die uh, after a few weeks after the humanized uh, uh, PBMC in graph to these mice. So this uh, mice has uh, has short window, um, like compared to the other uh, disease model. So this is uh, only used for, for uh, some type of research, like a, a GVHD um, vaccine or infe infection response, and uh, also, like I, I previously mentioned, it's for uh, those CAR T research. 
And uh, this is a picture uh, about the process to prepare humanized PBMC mice. Uh, the donor's PBMC cells will be prepared and uh, inject through mouse tail. And uh, this process uh, uh, basically will take uh, one to two weeks. And uh, so these humanized PBMC uh, reconstruction mice are widely used uh, for um, for this uh, field, include uh, include the uh, like uh, infectious disease, gene therapeutic, and the immunogenesis study, and the graft versus host disease, and also cell uh, therapeutic, like uh, the cardiac efficacy uh, test. So here is a case study using our humanized uh, PBMC model. So we want to test the, uh, the, the different antibodies, uh, their, their ability to immune, uh, in, inhibit the tumor growth. So here we use the H929. This is a myeloma, like a tumor model. So, <clears throat> so compared to the PBS, PBS control, we can see all these three um, antibody has good uh, tumor inhibitor uh, because we can see in the two weeks experiment, the tumor growth is totally inhibited by these three antibodies while compared to the PBS uh, control. So this is an, another, uh, another case about the uh, use our um, humanized PBMC mouse model and uh, this, uh, uh, this, this mice were in, uh, grafted with breast, ca breast cancer and uh, here we use um, use specific human uh, antibody. This is the antibody is uh, uh, about the immune checkpoint. Uh, we know it's a, a PDL1. So basically, we can see compared to the um, vehicle control, the um, the anti PDL1 can significantly inhib inhibit the tumor growth. You can see the uh, there's significant difference compared to the uh, vehicle control group. So, so this is like a reality as our like a PBMs hum, humanized MSG mice is uh, useful for test the uh, antibody efficacy, specific as also uh, immune oncology research. And uh, another uh, humanized model we are going to talk today is uh, uh, called uh, MSG mice in, in graft with human derived uh, CD34 positive. The, the hemo, uh, hematopoietic stem cells. So compared to the um, PBMC met, uh, model, uh, HSC or CD34 model produce uh, um, very, uh, various type of uh, hematopoietic cells or immune cells, such as uh, T cell, B cell, NK cell, also uh, myeloid cell. So since the uh, immune, immune cells are developed in the mice and uh, are tolerant to the host, so no GVHD will be uh, observed. So these uh, uh, human derived immune cells will exist very stable. And, uh, this mo mouse model will, is useful for long-term uh, disease studies. So this type of mice can survive more than one year. And uh, see the flow chart uh, telling us how we prepare our uh, HSCs CD or CD34 reconstruction mice. So uh, MNSG mice will be elided and then uh, transplanted with uh, human uh, CD34 cells through the IV injection. And uh, because this uh, uh, take time to reconstruction uh, human, uh, like a hematopoietic take stem cell. So the whole process will take uh, three to four months. And uh, this model also has a lot of like uh, application to the um, like studies, include uh, uh, specific like uh, important for the immune oncology study, the hematopoietic uh, disease and the infection disease, also like a uh, gene therapeutic. And uh, we also can use this model to compare the immunogenicity assays. And uh, to see the change of blood uh, lymphocyte uh, in the CD34 uh, in graft MSG mice, we can uh, clearly see um, by the 
by uh, by the time change and uh, we can see a lot of a uh, huge increase of human cd45 positive cells and the t cells increase also the uh, cd4 uh, positive t cell cd8 positive C t cell and the b cells and here we also like uh, can detect the nk cell and there's a myeloid cell here so this is another figure showing how uh, how the change of uh, the CD34 uh, uh, humanized mouse model with time. And uh, we can see after three or four months after the uh, reconstruction of this uh, hematopoietic stem cell, the, the percentage of immune cells in the mouse blood is uh, uh, coming to very similar to the human PBMC. We can see uh, almost all the component of the uh, immune cells we can detect in the mouse blood include the uh, T cells, I mean the CD4 T cell, CD8 uh, T cell, and the B cell, NK cell, and the myeloid cells. And uh, also like uh, uh, here, I would like to show a case study using our humanized uh, CD34 mice in the immuno-oncology research. So we know that Kachuda is a, uh, is a it's a very popular uh, drug for the immune uh, therapeutic. Like uh, this is uh, like a PD-1, uh, uh, I mean the human PD-1 antibodies. So we can see uh, compared to the cell line control, the uh, PD-1 antibody can really uh, significantly increase, uh, I mean the inhibit the tumor growth. Here we use, uh, we also use the breast cancer and uh, compared to the um, cell, line, cell line control, the uh, the tumor is really uh, good inhibited. So this uh, this part of like uh, without showing uh, like hum uh, this this humanized uh, CD34 model could be useful in the area like antibody efficacy test. Uh, however, uh, there's definitely some limitation of this uh, uh, humanized model. Also, there we can see there's a lot of applications in the given research, like I have mentioned uh, in previous slides. So here are, are some limitation of these uh, uh, mouse models, include uh, the mouse, these humanized mouse, mouse models. They are la lacking the human cytokines. So we know uh, human cytokines is really important to regulate the differentiation of uh, those cells from the hematopoietic stem cell. And, uh, this model lacking uh, the human MHC, and uh, also there are no mature the human uh, antigen present cells, and uh, also some other important uh, lymphoid organs like the uh, thymus, spleen, uh, is uh, is lacking in this mouse model. So, so this is like a, um, so this this will like all this uh, lacking will weaken the T cell priming and uh, developing. And this is another, uh, another picture tell us like uh, how we can overcome this uh, limitation from, uh, from these three parts. So why is uh, like uh, we can uh, decrease the GVHD happens uh, by the uh, inhibitor the NHC1 or MHC2. So we can uh, inhibit the like uh, through the engineered mouse model so we can silence the expression of MHC1 and the MHC2. Also, another part is like uh, we can improve the adaptive immunity. So we can like uh, uh, increase the, I mean the co-expression of HLA, and uh, we also can like uh, knock in the human IL2, and uh, even the uh, the SAPA and the CD47. So this is uh, like uh, how we improve the adaptive immunity, like uh, through the knocking some important uh, cytokines or like a uh, uh, co uh, co stimulation adapters. And another part, of, like uh, we know, uh, we we want to improve the innate immunity. Like uh, we want uh, some some research really interested about the NK cells, so we can uh, co injection the IL fifteen. Or we can like uh, use our uh, engineered uh, mouse model 
like uh, based on the NSG background, we can lock in the human I15. Also, maybe, maybe some other research will be interested about the human uh, myeloid cells. So like uh, the I3 and the GMCSF, all these cytokines are really important for the boost the, uh, the myeloid cells. So in this case, like uh, we can use our engineered uh, like a gene mod modified mouse model, like we snuck in those I I3 or GMCSF. So I will show you some, um, so this is like a picture how uh, tell us how important these cytokines for the um, differentiation, this uh, like uh, NK cells from the HSC. And the, uh, we know that like I15 is uh, like help the differential of NK cells. And the uh, MCSF is uh, really important for the macrophage development. And uh, here is uh, like uh, uh, some other like a uh, uh, mouse model uh, we uh, engineered uh, like based on the uh, background of MS, NSG mice. So like the humanized uh, uh, I15 and the humanized, uh, these two are like all humanized I15. So basically we knock in the human I15 in the NSG mice. So these uh, transgenic uh, uh, mice were carrying the expression of human humanized I15. So it's uh, it will really help uh, for the researcher like the uh, interest about NK cell function. And uh, this part uh, we uh, knock in like uh, I uh, human I3 and uh, human I2 in the NSG uh, background mice. So this will like uh, help researchers um, like uh, their function on the myeloid cells. So also we can uh, we can uh, use the engineered uh, I mean gene edit the the MHC one and the MHC two. Also we developed the double knockout based on uh, MSG background mice. So all these uh, mice will help to suppress the uh, uh, graft versus host disease to ha happen. So this uh, will like uh, extend the mice survival of the humanized PBMC mouse model. So here is an example of uh, humanized uh, mice with, uh, with uh, human I15 knock-in. So compared to the uh, normal NSG mice, like uh, we can see the red, red one is for the normal NSG and the blue one is humanized I15 knock-in in the NSG mice. So we can see very clearly the NK cell component. I mean, NK cell percentage is significantly increased in the uh, in the blue group, right, compared to the uh, NSG group. So so this uh, tells us like uh, this model is definitely like uh, can help uh, like boost the NK uh, cells in the NSG knockout mice. So it, especially uh, this mouse will be useful for those like. Uh, uh, researchers interested about the NK function, like uh, those, uh, they want to compare the efficacy of CAR-NK in how these uh, NK cells can inhibit the tumor growth in vivo. And uh, so uh, right now, a lot of like a, like a company or like a research institute has used our MSG mice and uh, they, they have a, a a lot of publications use our uh, mouse model. And uh, yeah, so thank you everyone for joining us for today's uh, webinar. And uh, if you have any question I would like to answer or you can contact our scientists of the webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jin. Now we will be taking some questions. The first sure. question we have here is, how long can these mice survive after engraftment with PBMC or HSCs? Yeah, so uh, so like I mentioned in the in the presentation, so because of the uh, CVS GBHD happened in the PBMC engraft mice, so this uh, PBMC humanized mice will like only provide a very short window period, about a, a couple of weeks for the researchers and uh, so PBMC uh, humanized mice will usually will die within three months. However, like uh, uh, CD34 uh, humanized mice, because uh, 
bone marrow was replaced by the human uh, hematopoietic stem cell. So the immune, uh, immune system will like uh, reconstructed by the human, uh, human immune cells. And uh, so no uh, GVHD will like uh, observed in these mice. So these mice can usually uh, survive more than one year. And uh, a lot of uh, research even can see that this type of mice survive 1.5 years like that. Yeah. Great, thank you. Um, we have one more question here. How many mice can be humanized with one CD34 cord blood donor? Uh, yes, so uh, we have like a different resource of uh, like a human uh, CD34 positive cells or the hematopoietic stem cells. So most commonly uh, used uh, in our uh, in our lab is is called uh, like a uh, cord blood. So so usually we can like uh, humanize the 50 to 60 uh, mice from one donor. So large cohort can be humanized based on the specific request. Yeah, thank you. Okay, great. Thank you all. Those are all the questions we have time for, but we will definitely answer your questions individually by email. Please send your additional questions to info at as seen on the screen. Thank you so much for attending and have a good rest of your day.